Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Well, my guest is returning because he's one of my biggest fans. Oh, come on now. <laughs> so we'd like to have him on the show. Mayor of Chilliwack, Ken Popoff. Welcome back. You know, well, thanks for having me. And, and, you know, I thought you forgot about me. It's been such a long time since we've talked. I think it was the last time we talked was when uh, you were in chambers with your sister and, and I was handing out chocolate. I, I, I said I would hand out chocolates and I, I, I see that's one of your questions. And, and uh, um, it, it um, I did offer and you said no. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> but I did look after your neighbors. I looked after your sister and, sister and I looked after the, yeah. And what has she ever done for you? Have she ever ha had the show on to have you on? No. <laughs> well, she asked for a car and, it, and we, we kind of drilled it down to a box of chocolate. So I thought that was fair. So I can't believe it. she settled for that. <laughs> uh, you know, and for me, that was uh, you know, like a memorable uh, council meeting for me because, you know, typically they're full of, you know, uh, I'm not going to say anger, but just uh, uh, not not positivities and it, and that was a lot of fun. So I I really like that. that well, great. we're thinking of coming to the next one. When is it, by the way? I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay. It might cost me some more chocolates. I want you to remember, I may or may not have voted for you in the last election. I may or may not vote for you if you run again. So you might want to remember that. <laughs> wow, that's a little bit of a threat I, I see there. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the show. Okay, sure. Okay. So one of the, the the big questions I have, and I was wondering how you feel about it, is garburators. Like garburators, yes. We have them in our building. I read that in Vancouver, it cost them about three million dollars a year uh, for the clean up the sewers, and it's directly related to garburators. But they won't ban them; they just encourage people not to use them. So, what is your thought on that? Well, you know the. There's a few different, uh, you know, strategies there. The green bin's a good strategy, you know, like a garburator. If if it's not used on a um, on a daily basis or, or or like a heavy basis, yeah, I know engineering. They'll they'll kind of rebuck what I'm saying, but just it um, sure it does cause problems. But um, I think more and more people are 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 you know switching to the green green bin green cart if you will and and uh um i'm not gonna really say it's 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 100 you know like the right thing to do because in some instances it's kind of hard to recycle and 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 compost and that kind of thing i got a compost pile at my house i have a garburator at my house so it 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 uh it it's kind of a dual thing so if they're used in a i know this is it's, it's going to sound funny talking about a garbage but in a respectful way yeah I, I you know i um i i think it's 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 not a terribly bad strategy but but yeah there are other ways to to get rid of the waste like i say composting is is a great way and and you know what the price of food uh um I, you know like, like i know myself i have a garden and i grow more vegetables than i need to have with my mom always comes over and steals food which is okay yeah I, i'm not i'm not saying steals but just you know there's different strategies to 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 use it because it turns into great compost and it's it's good for the garden and you're putting it back in the earth so i think it's great but yeah okay i, I hear what you're saying but people like like in my building we have you don't have you not to go outside we have everything in our uh, underground parking right mm -hmm. we have a compost bins recycle bin and garbage bin but but we have carburetors and I had mine removed. I've talked to people in the building about not using it. And everyone has the same answer. Oh, I only use it once in a while. But we're 24 units. And this is just a small building. Yeah. yeah. 24 people are only using it once in a while. That's a lot of use. Mm -hmm. You don't need to in our case. You know? So so are you suggesting that we should try to ban them? I do. Don't... Yeah, I am. Because yeah, so I'm not sure how, I'm not sure how that would, uh, if... If a city has that sort of legislative power to do that, I don't know. I was just thinking, yeah. how good would it be for Chilliwack to be more innovative when it comes to environmentally friendly? You know, like this well, we certainly well, in, you know, like in operations where we're uh, um, going to propane, natural gas. Uh, uh, you know, the you know, like, like another good example is we've we've uh, um, 
captured the wasted heat out of the Colosseum, and that's what heats the pool. Oh, cool. So there's there's a lot of ways that 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 I guess maybe we don't, uh, um, and 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 we probably should communicate more of the initiatives that that yeah. the city has is and will do you know we changed all our street lights to led and and that you know that that saves it saves power and it's better for the environment as well we plant thousands of trees and and uh, um you know i i feel we do a pretty darn good job here in chilliwack can we do better we we, we, we can all do better we yeah. can all do better but it's just uh i you know we're not sitting back doing nothing we are moving ahead with with uh, all kinds of green initiatives and and we will continue to do that. So right. I, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, it does and it doesn't. I mean, it's great that the city's doing that. It's just how do we get more individuals to do the same type of thing, you know? Well, and, and that kind of bodes well with recycling and, and we would love to get that up. Yeah, recycling, it's, I'm not gonna say it's expensive, but it's it's a little, it's, you know, it's time consuming. You know, you feed your cat with some canned, you know, food. You got to wash it out and clean it up, and and you know, like put it into the, you know, the recycle bin. Uh, it's just more effort, and and the more effort that folks can can do, the less strain we put on our landfill, and that's bottom line why, why we do it. And it's good for the environment as well. You know, uh, you can kind of factor in the plastic bags, which which is 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 a policy, and and. Um, some people follow it, some people don't, but if, if we can get 50% of people online, well, I feel we've done our job. For sure, yeah. Okay, now let's switch the topic to um, uh, the, the climate, uh, not the climate, sorry, the temperature. Like, are we expecting dry, hot summer again? Well, you know, I just, uh, I've read a couple of reports from the Weather Network, and and um, uh, what they're predicting is, is not a scorching summer. Mm -hmm we will have some some stretches of, of, of heat and then we're going to have some stretches of thunder showers and 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 some moisture as well so it's not going to be like it has been in the past is is what the prediction is so uh just you know wait for a volcano to go off and 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 you know change the you know you know like the axis of the earth or whatever which changes climate but uh um if it does happen, yeah, we we uh, have an like an emergency response plan put in place. Uh, uh, like last go around, we we opened up some civic buildings. We we added to I'm not gonna say spray parks, but we added to spray locations to get people out of the heat. Uh, um, it, it it's a tough one, it, you know, like especially folks who live in trailer parks. It's you know, like, uh, if you don't have air, air conditioning. It's like you're living in a, you know, like an oven, basically. So Absolutely. it's uh, especially for the seniors. So, um, but we will follow along with the heat alerts. We we do have a plan in place for sure, mm -hmm. and if needed, we will execute the plans and 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 communicate with folks like you that you know can communicate to your neighbors and the you know and, and the rest of your watchership. So it's it's a uh, it's uh it's something that's that's in the works it's planned for um much like the you know if we get another uh uh you know like rain event like we had in 2021 which i uh, touch wood it, 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 it didn't happen this year but uh um with you know with climate change we have to be prepared and um uh you know i sit at a lot of tables uh un unfortunately there's there's a lot of talk and it's just about scheduling another meeting, but there's no action. You know, it's right. federal government or, or the people have to step up to the plate. So, yeah. so just to answer your question in, 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 you know, short answer, yes, we are very aware of it. And uh, um, we, we are taking strategies to move forward to that. But after reading that, that statement from the Weather Network, it, it uh, uh, put my mind at ease a little bit. But we can't sit back and rest on our laurels and, and expect it to be okay because weather's is you know is all dictated by mother nature and, and whatever she puts forward we have to deal with for sure now when we're on the the, the water restriction you know we, you have where you know, depending on your address you have your days when you're allowed to water and when you're not allowed to water does does anybody go around and check or is it just by honor system well good point um uh, we do have bylaw officers but you know 
we have 600 kilometers of roads in, in, you know, for instance, here, here in Chilliwack and, you know, like a lot of them are, are residential. Well, most of them are, are in a residential area. And, and um, we are complaint driven. I remember last year, there was a few complaints about their neighbors were, were watering the lawn. And that's the, the biggest waste of water is to water your lawn. The yeah. biggest waste. Right. Sure. You know, I, don't have any lawn in my house, but I have extensive gardens, but I hand water. So, right. and, and, and I water in the morning when necessary, you know, I, I kind of track the heat and, and uh, um, you know, like, especially my, my food garden, cause I am producing food, but, uh, um, and, and, and we did uh, start the, the uh, restrictions a month earlier than last year. In, in anticipation and and it really uh, uh, made a difference. Um, staff, they put some graphs up for us to look at and it really sh showed the, the, the uses going down, which was good. Oh, yeah. um, we have a good system, a good aquifer. Uh, you know, if the Venner River ever went dry, we'd, we'd be in trouble, mm -hmm. but the river is fed by Chilliwack Lake which is fed by glaciers. So we do have a good uh, system of replenishing our water because that's where our, our aquifer comes out of is the Venner River. Right. And if that, for some reason, if that goes dry, we do have a plan B and that's Elk Creek. The infrastructure is still there to supply to our system, but um, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that we won't need to do that, but you never want to assume that it's going to be okay. So yeah. don't waste water, people. Don't waste water. Yeah, and I, and I th and with the people I know, I said, why do you water your lawn? The first rain, it's going to come back. It's not never dies, you know. Yeah, and you know, like and we've got a contest now that that our communication staff actually rebranded. It was the Ugly Lawn Contest last year, but it's the Golden something rather. The the, the terminology escapes me, but the same thing. Just just uh, let it go brown, cut it down. Let it grow brown and and come just like what you said. Come, you know, come fall. Uh, you know, with some rain, it'll 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 come back to green. And, and right, uh, I know. Uh, you know, I've been thinking about starting a a a lawn lawn painting company and just paint your lawn green. There you go, you're done. You know, like, that's probably not so good for the environment. So you know, I, I yeah. I'm only joking. I, I have not checked into I think that. It's yet. funny. I yeah, I like that. You know, I tell people, listen, this was a uh, somebody in in England, a rich person in England, decided they're gonna. I don't know how. That's how I when I did the research. That's where it came from. We're so you know we're so crazy. It's grass for Pete's sakes. You know. Yeah. I, I would rather yeah. you know we pay in our building, and I talked to council about it, and nobody sees things. I guess I think a little differently. We pay somebody to kill the, to spray the weeds for Pete's sake, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And that's just a whole other topic, right? Yeah. Like the weeds are green, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, for sure. Um, Perfectly. <laughs> now I don't have much else except now. Oh yeah, you have to tell me when the next council meeting is. We're going to show up anyway. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not. You have to find out. <laughs> <laughs> now, as an individual, not as the mayor, as an individual. We're having a, a fundraiser for the for the Chilliwack Cupcake Festival, yeah. so the third annual one. Yeah. You order cupcakes, a box of 20 for $40. You can come and pick them up and bring me my chocolate at the same time. Man, you're a little bossy there, uh, Nancy, <laughs> but uh, um, just one sec here. Uh, um, yeah, uh, we'll talk to staff and see if we can fix you up because that'd, be, that'd be a nice treat for staff. Yeah. Is that on now? It's no, it's said that the well, the, the fundraising starts now, um, and the cupcake festivals in September. We don't qualify for any grants, you know, just yeah. because we're not a, a non profit or anything like that, right? So we just follow through the cracks. So we have got some orders already, and we're having a silent auction just to try to get the money so we can buy the supplies. Because this year we plan on making 4,000 cupcakes, <laughs> okay? And where are you making them? I'm just, I'm curious. Yeah. This is so wonderful. Okay, uh, Kerry Kahn, he's the owner of Cin, uh, Cin oh, Cinnabon there. Yeah. yeah, he's allowing us to use his kitchen. Okay. Two days in a row. We're going to be baking for two days and a Monday too. Absolutely no cost to us. Okay. That is so tremendous. I'm so pleased and it was so exciting. Anyway, so. Because uh, I, I was going to give you a, a 
plan B just in case if that one didn't work, but it sounds like it's going to work. But if, if you got a hold of Scott Gallardi, who's the executive director of Ruth and Naomi's, right? And they have the travel lodge building, uh, you know, towards the highway there. Yeah. And they, and they've got a full kitchen in there as well. So you, wow. you might be able to get in there. So, uh, um, you, you know, to, to maybe increase your, your, your capacity or, or something, but I'm not saying he's going to do it, but it's just an idea. Yeah. What was know? his name again? Yeah. Sorry. Scott Gallardi. Okay. If you yeah. get a hold of Mr. Naomi, you know, tell me you're talking to me and I suggested that you get a hold of him and, and, uh, he may want to partner up with you. So who knows? That would, yeah. I and mean, even if they would bake their own and, and distribute them on that day would be nice because we what? want we want the hospital staff, we want the first responders, we want, you know, the seniors uh, residents, you know, seniors' homes to get cupcakes, okay. you know, and okay. the Naomi's everywhere, right? Okay. Okay. That's my no, that's a good initiative. I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. And anyway, thanks for being on the show. Um, you know, it's always fun to have you on. <laughs> It's always fun to talk to you, Nancy. Gotta so have we'll my, uh, gotta give my little digs in. <laughs> well, and I dug you back, so I, you know, I don't mind taking shots. It's all good, but I'm going to give them back. It's all that's good. Great. So, but but, but but it's all out of love. It's thank all you. out of love. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. all good. Thank all right. you very much, and okay. thank you everybody for watching uh, the show. Take care, everyone. Peace out. Bye bye. <laughs>